All right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zuff. And we are Real Time. Today, we got Season 1, Episode 4 of The White Lotus. This one is called Recentering. Last episode was hilarious. It was the episode with Miss McQuad, Tanya. She went on her boat ride to spread her mother's ashes into the ocean like she's been wanting to. She brought along Belinda. And there was two unexpected guests. We had Shane and Rachel yep. for a dinner, like a romantic dinner. But they had no clue what was going on. Mm -hmm. I think Armand just did it, just to, he wanted to create chaos. Like yeah. he, he just wanted to put Shane in a bad position because of how annoying he's been thus far on the on his trip. So definitely worked too. I mean, I feel like that that boat ride literally went worse than I could have imagined. She just had like an actual mental breakdown. Yeah. She didn't even end up spreading all of her mom's ashes. Just a little bit. I think she got like one or two handfuls out, and then said that she couldn't go on. She couldn't do it anymore. But that definitely made Shane mad, and then he started, he was like, I'm gonna find him, I'm gonna find that guy. He did that on purpose, like, obviously talking about Armand. And then he went out to go look for him, and Armand was actually at the bar with Mark. Yeah. And things were getting heated between them. Mark was just, like, super, super interested. Yeah, he was freaking... Uh wanted to test the waters with uh <laughs> yeah he was feeling Ar armand or i don't know he was just very curious because yeah. he was talking to a gay I mean, man and he was like what does gay sex feel like and armand took that as like kind out? of flirt flirtatious and he's like do you want to find out and he Mark rain checked it so rain checked it. Might. that's not a no but he got shut down immediately from uh melissa yeah after he turned into an absolute yeah. ape i think i think that that talk with Armand like kind of got him in the mood and yeah the, his wife just completely shut him down that was one of the weirdest uh attempts at having yeah. sex I mean I don't blame her at all he just started acting like a monkey that like I don't know that couldn't have been attractive no but I'm curious to see what Sydney Sweeney or Olivia um is gonna do after uh seeing her friend have that steamy hot sex with uh Kai, Kai. <laughs> I just don't know what's gonna happen i think they might like fight or something they're gonna definitely have like a a little cat fight all right guys that's pretty much it though before we get into this episode if you guys have been enjoying our the white lotus reactions please drop a like comment and subscribe check out our links in the description we got the patreon the discord our social medias and the address to our p.o box down there if you guys want to send us something for our series mail time but yeah let's get into it season one episode four of the white lotus recentering let's go oh it's kai that's kai, kai and paul mm. Oh, they're fucking already. <laughs> Jeez, dude. I'm gonna lie to my friend. I feel like friend. they could see Paula dying. You think uh, Olivia would, like, Loki, Loki, I kind of no. I kind of want Paula to die. Because she's just lying for no reason. I don't think that deserves death. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty drastic. I mean... You're lying? I, we're just, Execute her! We're just finding ways in the TV show to make it work. They were the ones that actually evicted us from our boat here. Uh, okay. Was by King to the Honohiki. It was a sacred title. It can't be broken. And the government. I think this is what people were commenting about. Illegally. Like he he used to live here, but then mm. they, they brought the hotel and he got kicked out. My brothers, they're still trying to fight the colony, but they can't afford a lawyer. The brothers found out that I took this job. They were so pissed. I thought I'd make a living, you know. Hmm. Yeah, you gotta like work for the people that freaking kicked you out like the enemy that your brothers are fighting against i have to go before she wakes up why don't you want her to know that we're hanging out good question she's tricky is she your friend as long as she has more of everything than i do yeah mm. oh so maybe if she finds out she'll go for him i have my own she wants it that family is crazy damn bro the real paula comes out it's not even like she's acting like different. Yeah, she seems kind of cool actually. Like she was, she's weird when she's around Olivia. He's up and she knows. Ooh. And she's gonna go slam guy 100%, right? I think so. Damn, dude. We were saying weird shit to Dylan. Yeah. Belinda. Belinda, Belinda. I can't you gonna imagine find, she's gonna see drugs or something. Jennifer Coolidge feels the day. AKA Tanya. Bar doesn't open until nine. <laughs> I thought you 
were a guest. He's a total mess. Yeah, he's not bad right now. I fell off the wagon yesterday. What the whole thing? Now he's being honest. On edge, so I, I took a Xanax, but then I was um, dragging, so I took an upper, and then I took another, and then another. And I got wasted. Down to the bar after work and had a few shots. Oh, <laughs> the father staying in the trade winds asked me to fuck him up the arm. <laughs> oh, jeez. He wow, did. he's just saying everything, bro. I'm not going down that road again. Then get rid of the medals. Absolutely. 100%. He's not gonna. What's he gonna do? He's gonna take more. Sorry. I was depressed. I kept thinking about how my dad chose his sex life over his family. Well, that sounds familiar. Hmm? Are you going to participate today or are you going to go on another bender? Participate! <laughs> <laughs> happy, happy. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for him. Mom, Paula can't keep eating this much fruit. Why not? I have fructose malabsorption. Oh, my God. What the fuck is that? Did Quinn sleep on the beach again last night? Oh, shit. This is not okay. Yeah, Olivia, he could have been kidnapped by butt pirates. Or end up in a bukkake with a pot of dolphins. Jesus. Bro, they are just so rude to him. Everyone, honestly, to everyone. I think it'd be peaceful to sleep by the ocean. A little cool. Probably. probably. Yeah, I listen to waves like while I'm going to bed. On the on the YouTube, they call it. Black screen? Yeah, well, yeah, of course. Of course. I listen to TikTok lives. <laughs> There's usually people building in Minecraft. What the hell is this? A little boating? Get Quinn out there. He's been wanting to do stuff. He likes it. Does he like the bro? I, the I think Zuff wasn't wrong, bro. You think he's gonna take it? No, no I think he might be gay. Oh, 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 oh. I think that's he why, might actually be gay. That's why he stopped that's watching said, that. That's what I said. Uh, bro, he's on no P. At he's least, gay. he's curious. Yeah, he's interested in those dudes for sure. Hey, hi. You guys were really good sports yesterday. How are you doing? Hmm. I feel like I failed, but... Oh, no. No. <laughs> that was not no, convincing. Absolutely not, no. It just reminded me of, of, you know, sprinkling fish food in an aquarium. Hmm. And I was just like, oh, my God, you know. Oh, yeah, I know. Paula, you're not so mad about that whole Trevor thing, are you? No. Trevor? Because if you like a guy, you can tell me. Or whatever, you can trust me. I'm not gonna like swoop him out from underneath you. Uh oh, I bet she s swept under and took Trevor from her in the past. Did you get your backpack back? <laughs> yeah, I gave it to one of the Beach Boys. You did? Yeah. Uh oh. I gave it to the one over there. Oh, Dylan. The khaki face. Dylan. The khaki face? <laughs> oh no, oh, that guy. That guy. You said yesterday that you didn't have it, but he just said that he gave it to you two days ago, and then you put it in the locker room. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in your office. <laughs> oh, let me check. Green backpack. I th yes, I do remember that. Mm. I'll, I'll go to the office and get it for you right away. Why is there all the drugs missing? Just come back hey, to it. Man, hey, man. Hey. He doesn't even pay him attention anymore. <laughs> what do you think of that idea? What idea? Um, I think it's uh, good and it's cool. Good input, bro. Yeah, I think it's good and cool. You do that, babe. Can't wait to fuck in Tahiti. Let's go with this. <laughs> this guy's really making him mad. He did kind of fuck him over. <laughs> Is he gonna walk into him like with the drugs? I bet he's gonna take some before he gives it up. Oh, how was your candlelit dinner last night? <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, it fucking blew, frankly. Oh no. <laughs> You knew, you knew that she was out there to spread her dead mother's ashes on the goddamn ocean. You're goddamn right, you knew. It was a dumpster fire shit show. I had no idea. I'm sorry, your vacation isn't everything you'd hoped so far, but the we're gonna make it up. It's an exciting surprise you'll be receiving later today. What? We're gonna get in our room, 
Unfortunately, no. But I think this is really going to turn then things I around. Then I don't want it. What I want is to speak to your boss. Who is Armand's boss? I will have someone bring you his business card with his cell phone number to your room. And you can call him at your leisure. Good. Uh-oh. He might murder him. Armand's and I mean... We, we know that he's literally he's the, the only person, person that's safe. Shane is the only Unless one Unless that safe. first scene was taking place. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Then, I don't know. They're always keeping the drugs, bro. Giving the bag back. I mean, what are they going to say? Hey, can we, uh... Where's can our drugs our, at? Can we get our ketamine back? Oh, he's about to go fucking nuts, bro. I'm going to need somebody's phone today. You had my phone all day yesterday. Yeah, right, they would give you their phone. Okay, but you guys are going to regret this. What? How is any what? of this their fault, bro? You fucking fell asleep with your phone on the beach. Like, all your shit on the beach. Mm. How about yesterday? How are you? <laughs> oh. I'm a little hungover. Well, you look great. Oh, shit. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the face he has yeah, on dude, right it's now. Crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he's high. What if he just doesn't remember their conversation? Look at him. He's like, well, have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Have a good one. I'll see you soon. Whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> You think he remembers? I don't know. We'll see. Time will tell. I just really want to thank you for yesterday. Being there for me. Getting me to my room. And I mean, I was a mess. You were fine. It would have been a hell of a lot worse if you hadn't been there. See, I just, I don't know if I'm like, I'm, I'm the most bored watching the show when these two are on the screen. Do you think Belinda's just uh, being nice so she can yeah, get, get what she wants? for sure. Yeah. To some extent, yeah, for sure. I think she is also just a genuinely kind yeah. person, but she's definitely going far to hopefully get the funding. You know, I mean, the whole vision could be yours. She's so invested in this, I feel like. Very much interested. One second. Yeah, um, I, uh, I gotta have, um, you drink the peppermint tea for now, and um, I'll be way more clear after my oxygen facial. Okay. Right. Oh. Looks like she's about to pour her heart out yeah. to her. <laughs> oh, she just it's just setting up for her to get disappointed. She looks so I don't innocent. want I don't want to get innocent. disappointed, bro. The bomb is here, the weed is here, but the pills are gone. No. What about the K? Do you think that fucker took our stash? <laughs> Can you try to include Quinn a little bit more in your voodoo ceremonies? Bro. You do? I don't think you appreciate how tough things are for kids like Quinn right now. Why? Because of the Asperger's? He doesn't have Asperger's. <laughs> Dude. He's a straight white. Uh, Are we sure about that? I don't think he's straight. Nobody has any sympathy for them right now. And I just feel like we should. They're the underdogs now. I don't know about that one. Young guys like Quinn who are just getting out of college, I don't care how incredibly impressive they are, it is almost impossible for us to hire them. Isn't that because up until now they're the only people that <laughs> I understand how guys like Quinn can feel a little alienated from the culture right now. Mom, cringe. And I don't think it's fair. What the hell is she saying? It is cringe, Mom. Now, I know you said you didn't want my surprise, but I took the liberty of bringing it anyway. <laughs> oh, it's Molly Shannon from SNL. I know this isn't kosher, and I told him to keep it a secret because I knew you would say no. <laughs> Get out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What the Isn't fuck? It? His mom's on his honeymoon? Oh, dude, Rachel's gonna be fucking pissed. Ah. Uh. Ew, oh my God, why? Face. Poor thing. She's white as a sheet. <laughs> I'm totally crazy, I know. I was just so tense from the wedding and all the weeks leading up. What if his mom's the one that dies, bro? Oh my God, <laughs> I never thought of that. Well, that's because she wasn't here. <laughs> yeah. That's why I never you thought of it. You think about that? Yeah, please don't be mad at your mother-in-law. Oh my God, of course not. I'm not mad. I'm really, really happy to see you. <laughs> 
This is a really nice view. It's a really nice room. Mm, not oh, the one. Definitely not the room I booked. Yeah. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Ooh, it's a touchy subject, huh? Oh no. I can't believe my baby boy is married. I can't uh, believe it. Oh, I don't like being in this room I with him. I fucking them. love this room. I don't really, really remember exactly what I said. So you said having sex with mom was like eating a plate of live worms. <laughs> Did say that. I said that. Yeah, dude, you were super drunk yesterday. I cheated on you, your mother once. Oh, is that what she was referencing earlier? I bet. Once, but with one woman. I, it was a couple times. You did? Yeah. And dealing with it, dealing with her, getting her to forgive me was hell. Yeah, Mark, that's a shitty thing to do. There was a lot of drama. I do all this therapy. Yeah, I bought her a pair of bracelets for $75,000. What? <laughs> yeah, with my money. I her money. Bracelets? There's the man, and there's the monkey. And somehow, you gotta be man enough to face down the monkey. That's deep, Mark. <laughs> it's just a weird way of giving... Advice. We we have saying, don't cheat. What the hell? Come on. Hello. Is that her room? I think this is my room. Oh crap. Uh oh. Could this be a guy? Five nine four. I'm five nine two. I was drinking on the boat. <laughs> yeah, we go on a deep sea fishing trip every year. Just a good group of guys, a bunch of buds from the BLM. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoying Hawaii? You you here with what? your family? No, no, I'm vacation. Uh oh, uh oh. Sorry about getting in your door. There we go. It works. <laughs> That was odd. Potential lover? Rob? Maybe. I can see it. Has been saying she wants a man. Uh oh, don't tell me it's him. I so listen, you know my friends, they're leaving today and I'm gonna be staying here through the weekend and you're alone and I figured, well, why don't we just go grab dinner? You wanna grab dinner tonight? I did have a plan. Oh. Well But I could I could just Change it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, mm, yeah. We could change the plan. I'll see you at 7 o'clock. Okay. Oh! Um, Greg, I should have started with that. <laughs> okay. Oh! <laughs> what the? What, what was that was extra that? little look there? <laughs> oh, she canceled. What was her plan? Is she going to cancel on Belinda? I think so. I don't know who else she'd have plans with. Yeah. <laughs> what was the talking about the. I got asked out, believe it or not. There's a deep sea fisherman staying next door, and he's with a group from Black Lives Matter. Yeah? I mean, I hope that dude is with Black Lives Matter, but I have a feeling he's just, it's a different group, probably. Yeah, I feel like it might have been a different BLM. Yeah, dude. Who knows, though? Maybe he's a cool guy. Speaking of cool guys, here's Armand. Doing fucking ketamine, I think. It's like yellow. Something. I don't, it could literally be anything. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Mr. Patton, are you enjoying your mother? <laughs> bye bye. Jesus Christ. Fucking freak. <laughs> um, glad you're here. I need to make a business card with the largest logo on it. Are you any good with computers? Hey, listen, the girls from the trade ones are in the lobby. What do they want? They want to talk to you. Olivia and Paula? There's stuff missing from my bag. What kind of stuff? Important stuff. Paula's medications. Oh my. Well, if you'd like to make an inventory of the medications that you're missing... Never mind. It's too many to list. <laughs> what did you think he was gonna ask? I don't know if I wanna watch this. <laughs> What's up, guys? Oh, wow. Didn't have to watch it, really. I hope he just gets to ride in the boat with them. Is he looking at their butts? Does he does he think everyone wants to fuck him? Mr. 
Ross Barker looking very handsome tonight. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we have something special for you tonight. Our local staff will be performing some traditional Hawaiian entertainment. Well, wasn't that a treat? Enjoy. <laughs> Just grabbing him, <laughs> bro. Oh, God. <laughs> I think that guy was hitting on you. Probably because he was high on a ketamine. He was just, you know, being friendly. He looked like he wanted to fuck you, Dad. <laughs> Are those the $75,000 bracelets? Oh, shit. Bruh. They were a gift from your father. I don't, I don't know how much they cost. Oh, God, I hated that, bro. I'm excited for this. You know, we, we should probably get the talking in now. <laughs> because there's going to be... A very loud luau show. Well, let's get talking. <laughs> don't uh, don't acknowledge you're gonna be talking. Talk. Hey, can I get that number now? Oh, I'm just about to hand it to you. Uh -huh. The special for tonight is the. Dude, he has drinks laid out everywhere. Is he eyeing up Dylan still? He needs to fucking chill, bro. Yeah, he's being weird. I mean, for years, I was a good guy. You know? I was the one in the room saying, like, hey, that's not cool to all the chauvinists and, and bigots. And now I'm the bad guy. Someone else is trying to eat. Yeah, it's not all about you, Dad. It's time to recenter the narrative. Recentering. You know anything about Paula? I know that she goes to college with you and that she's a. Very intelligent and appealing young woman. I don't want to be a part of this conversation, I don't think. Can we just not do this? Did you tell my mom what you were thinking about? What was mm. What? What we were talking about this? Non-profit. Oh, no, Shane, I don't want to talk about that. Come on! Bro, take the hint. She still wants to make a difference, but uh, she finally figured out journalism is a sucker's game. Oh. I think that's a great idea, Rachel. I love working with all my charities. It's a great way to give back. And I think she's not having a good time. On honeymoon with her mother-in-law. <laughs> I really want to get a job. No, why would you do that? It's just limiting. You can do oh, so God, much bro, more this by is being so fucking torturous to watch right now. I want to know, how did you get involved with the BLM? I just think that's so interesting. Then the BLM moved into the headquarters in Colorado, and uh, they have a law enforcement program. And... What is he talking about? I don't know. Like the activism. I don't understand. What do you mean, activism? Yeah. <laughs> Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Black Lives Matter? Yeah. I'm not involved in that. You're not? Uh, oh, yeah, that's the Bureau of Land Management. I... I have okay. Like 300 rangers. Yeah, that's not what he was talking about. It couldn't have been. There's no way. Now that makes sense. <laughs> Poor Tanya. I want to do something meaningful. But those jobs are so awful, honey. They make no money. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's not all about money. She just wants to work and, like, be fulfilled. It's all about you? This music, bro. Your wedding took years off my life. Don't get me wrong, I loved it. I loved every minute of it, and I cannot remember a thing. <laughs> I don't remember. Any That's not something you should talk about. See, this is the same old tribal thinking, replacing the old hierarchy with the new one. Why does everyone just have to have awful conversations right now? What's your system of belief, Olivia? Not capitalism. Not socialism. So just cynicism. God, this is a fucking terrible. The right things or the wrong things. We all do the same shit. All right, Quinn. I kind of like parasites it. on the earth. Yeah, let him know, Quinn. Remember all eating the last fish and throwing all our plastic crap in the ocean. Yeah, Quinn, fuck Quinn this is the right one, bro. Million animals died in Australia during the fire. Where does all the pain go? Dang, doing it right in front of her. I'm gonna go up to the room, I don't feel good. Do you want me to come with you? Thank you for dinner. <laughs> this is weird. Okay, that was cute. Was it? Yes.
Like that. Thought I was gonna. Oh. Anya. All right, Tanya. When I fall off the wagon, I get very uninhibited. And right now, I'm even more uninhibited. Oh, that is so gross. I'm obsessed with you. I want to get you naked. What am I going to do? You can have tomorrow off. I'll give you whatever shifts you want. It's party tonight. Oh, shit. That one looks interested. Making me nervous, bro. Oh, Olivia, what are we doing here? Uh, I just wanted to say that was really cool. Is she gonna take him? Yeah. She's definitely doing that. It must be really cool to grow up here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it was cool. I like it. What if my mom showed up? How would you feel about that? Be fine. Are, they are a horrible couple. Oh, yeah? Why not? Because you can't afford the plane ticket. Bro, come on. I keep getting this message. The number you dialed is not in service. He's getting some thoughts. A bogus number. I mean, like, this can't be, like, the way he's acting can't be new, right? Like, she knew who she was marrying. I mean, she, they've been together since September. I guess, yeah. Really, like, less than a year, I think. We're in the middle of a fight! We have the rest of our lives to fight. I want her to do something, bro. I want her to give fuck someone. Oh shit. Oh gosh. What if yeah, Dylan dies? That's what I was just gonna say. No, but he works here. He wouldn't be going back to them. I don't think he's from Hawaii. Maybe. I was also thinking, do flights from Hawaii go just anywhere? I feel like, wouldn't they just go back to the mainland and then fly from somewhere else? Or am I just tripping? They have to go, um, usually from, if they're not in, on the Honolulu Island, they all go back to Honolulu before they're t they, they You can't go from a smaller island to like the States. At least I don't think. Let's party. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. He's gonna come walk in on it. Yeah, he's gonna walk in. Watching all the Hawaiians have to dance for all these white people that stole their islands. I'm sorry, my family is so defective. It's not like that. I'm a fan. I don't know, dude. I don't like their friendship whatsoever. You just went after Kai. Yeah. Like... <laughs> Bro, she's been grinding for so long with this business proposal, and I feel like it's just going to be a waste, bro. I feel like Tanya's just going to fucking screw her over, and it's going to piss me off. Looking for our mom. For the day. Sure about that? You know what? He may be in his office. I'll go check. Oh, Belinda. You can wait there. It's fine. I'll come with you. Here we go. Armand? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my Fuck. God, bro. <laughs> oh, Shane loves oh, this. That's so fucking crazy. <laughs> going down. Yeah, dude, he has the ultimate weapon now. Why is he fucked? Because he's fucking an employee at work. Yeah, I mean, that was a crazy last scene or scene there at the end with Armand and Dylan. It was bound to happen, I feel like. Yeah, that was, I mean, Shane caught them there i mean not there but i think armand's gonna get fucked i don't know Literally. if i don't know if um i mean shane can't die so like we saw him i feel like he is like looks like the biggest one who could be dead right now but we saw him at the beginning so he can't yeah. be dead he's the only safe one but it, like based off his expression things didn't work out in his favor mm -hmm. so like I still, I don't know. I mean, his mom appeared this episode. She she showed up, got invited by Ormond. He's just like an, like you said, an instigator. Like he just like likes stirring shit up. He knew that would be like a, a bad thing for their marriage. Like it's their honeymoon. You don't invite your parents to your honeymoon. No, no, no. 
I, I, like Zuff said, I think they're the worst couple I think I've ever seen. Yeah, it's, I, it's I, hard to all watch. on his side though. They are bad together. I don't know. I, <laughs> what are they really thinking? Nice Getting married like that, that quick is insane to me. I don't know, but people do it. They just seem like they're totally on di different pages completely. Yeah. I don't. I mean, you gotta, you gotta learn about the person you're marrying before yeah. you're marrying them. Like. Now she's just learning what he actually thought about her job or thinks about her job. Like, mm -hmm. it's like a joke and it's for like... Her mom sucks oh, too. Dude, yeah. And then I, I think we did figure out that Quinn is probably gay. Yeah, I think that's Or at gay. least bisexual, yeah. yeah. He's definitely interested in men for sure. Um, I think that's why he stopped masturbating on the yeah. beach. But he was like super, super interested in this group of men who were just like looked like riding in like mm -hmm. a 10 person canoe bro like it was a huge ass boat it was cool but he was super like focused on them and he looked the happiest he's been when he was talking to them and like looking at them honestly and then his uh sister olivia is i don't like olivia <laughs> started talking to kai um i mean we didn't really get too much from the parents this episode but i don't know how that's gonna go me like kai's Prop seem pretty interested in Olivia too. Like, I don't know, but she's Olivia's not like Paul's not saying anything. Like, she doesn't technically Olivia wouldn't know, but she does. She does makes, what? Like, knows Paula's fucking that guy, but what Paula doesn't know Olivia knows. Yeah. So that means like if. Olivia talked to Kai, Paula would be like, oh, I mean, she really didn't know that. You know what I mean? Well, she saw them having sex. I know, yeah, but, but Paula, Paula doesn't know that. Know. Yeah. So, like, so she can't, like, get mad, you're saying? Yeah. I just think it's, like, ironic how Olivia is this, like, super highly virtued person who, like, cares about all these things. And then when it's her own best friend, she's just ready to snatch her guy. And like Paula said, like, we're friends as long as she has more than me or she's better than me at mm. everything and they even like briefly mentioned some dude back in the day she, Trevor. Olivia, Olivia must have just stole him I yeah. don't know definitely so I just think it's funny how she's like criticizing her like own parents at dinner and stuff for all this stuff which I'm not saying they shouldn't be but like when she's like not a great person she's herself. going to sleep at night going I'm different than them I'm yeah. not like them I don't know about that Olivia and um Jennifer Coolidge has got a man now, and I think it's gonna fuck Belinda over because I think she's gonna put all of her attention into this guy. Um, that would suck, dude. I'm, they, I'm... He went into her room, so obviously, uh, I don't know. I feel like their date didn't go, date didn't go well. I don't know how that I happened. Mean, it's a, I feel like it's a expected Tanya date. She yeah. is a very awkward person. Yeah. I'm just, I don't want something bad to happen to Belinda. I just feel bad for she's her. The nicest. Like she's Tanya, nicest. Tanya's just gotten her hopes so high. Like we saw she spent, looked like all day, all night, like getting that business pro proposal ready. And I just want it to go to good use. Like I want them to actually go through with that, but. She's going to end up giving just, money to this guy. I feel like it's just not going to happen, bro. I'm Best case scenario, Shane gets Armand screwed over for this and Belinda takes over the hotel. I don't know if she'd even want that, to be honest. Uh -huh. Or maybe get some type of promotion. All right, guys, that's pretty much it, though, for this episode. If you guys have been enjoying these White Lotus reactions, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. we got the Patreon, the Discord, our social medias, and the address to our PO box down there. But yeah, we'll catch you guys next time for Season 1, Episode 5 of The White Lotus. Peace out.